Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of UFIT TV. Today we are recording episode four. I'm actually here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee with our uh, partner in crime down here, Wes Robinson. Uh, he's actually a registered nurse and today he is going to be joining me on the episode. Uh, but before that, he wants to give us a tour of the facility. So let's go do that. Hey guys, welcome to Murfreesboro. We're about 20 minutes straight south of Nashville, Tennessee. Come on in. So this is our studio. Uh, a couple clients here working out. We're right across from the mall, uh, kind of in a retail place. But of course, when you're here, uh, you're here working one-on-one -on -one with a trainer or in a small group setting of uh, no more than five people. And so we build individualized programs uh, for no matter what it is you're looking for. Our youngest client's 11, our oldest is 78. Come on in. Come on in. So we have all of our cardio equipment. Right now we're celebrating our one year anniversary. And so you can see over there, 756 pounds were lost. And so that's the equivalent in cinder blocks. Just walk And then we're getting ready to introduce uh, some new technology where we'll be doing heart rate monitoring while our clients are working out of here as well. We have all of our weight equipment. Body weight equipment. We have a, uh, a therapy table back here in the back. Yeah. Let's come in here and. Okay. Going back again. This is Chris, one of the owners. This hey. is Miss Linda down here working it hard. She she just won our uh, award for pretty much greatest encourager yes. here. So we're really glad. Positivity. Sure. You're on the you're on the UFIT minute. Oh hi! Out of hey folks, yeah. come in and join me. Okay, guys, so uh, again, here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, with uh, Wes Robinson, registered nurse and local uh, Tennessee partner to UFIT. Uh, today, we're talking about why cardio isn't enough. So, how weightlifting can guarantee your fitness success for the long term. So, today, really, what we want to do is we want to debunk a few myths about cardio routines and tell you how weightlifting and building a little bit of muscle mass um, can actually propel your life and your fitness life forward and allow you to see something that is sustainable for the long term. So first and foremost, you know, why isn't cardio training enough? Why can't I just do cardio, right? Everybody asks us, um, you know, why can't I just get on the treadmill and burn hundreds and hundreds of calories at a time? Have you ever tried that? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> You can run for an hour, you don't even get through one Snickers bar. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's crazy. But, you know, first and foremost, yes, cardio is good. Cardio burns calories. It, it, it helps burn off fat. It helps you see fitness results. But in and of itself, it's, it's not enough. Uh, too many people, too many people spend so much time just doing cardio routine after cardio routine after cardio routine, and, and then they get focused on something that's not really helping them see results and helping them see success. And then you get the feelings of frustration and the feelings of just wanting to give up because um, you need the change, right? So cardio is great, obviously, for overall heart health. Right. Um, cardio is great for uh, relieving or reducing blood pressure. Uh, cardio is great for uh, oxygen and nutrient delivery to the body. Uh, and, and cardio is great for stress relief. You know, sure. it's, it's good for things like uh, feeling better. If, you, if you're really stressed, you go out for a run or... Uh, you know, jump on the elliptical for 20 or 30 minutes, you know, it helps all of those things, yep. right? I mean, we're, we're not telling you that it doesn't help those things. What, what we're telling you is that if you're doing cardio two hours a day, and you're, you're just focused on cardio, you're just focused on doing that, it actually can be harmful to you. Um, it actually can hold you back from seeing fitness success, and it actually can actually make your body fat go up. Um, and then once you've actually met your weight goal, um, you know, there's this thing that people, this term that people use called skinny fat. Um, that's kind of how you feel. You you feel skinny fat because ultimately your body fat percentage isn't changing. It's not really reducing. It's just the amount of weight that you have on your body from a mixture of losing water, losing some muscle tissue, and losing some fat. Um, but the percentages aren't even and they're yeah. not right. And from a visual standpoint, uh, think about people you know who are big runners, marathon runners, uh, that type of thing. You know, of course, they're training for a sport, and so that's why they run all those miles. But look at the way their body looks. It's, um, I guess that kind of can explain that skinny fat. Yes, they're thinner, 
but they're not firm, they're not toned. It's right. a completely different look. Right. And and you know, any runner will tell you they struggle uh, maintaining any type of muscle tissue, right. especially long distance runners. Um, but you know, I'm not here today to tell you that, that cardio is bad uh, or that cardio is not important because it is. Uh, but what I am talking about today is stop focusing on so much cardio and start focusing on some weightlifting. Start focusing on building some muscle. Start focusing on getting stronger. Start focusing on things that are actually going to increase your metabolism um, and, and also change your body, the way that it looks, the way that it feels, and the way that you feel um, day to day. So how? Like where do we start? You know, How can lifting weights truly help with my fitness success? How can it guarantee my fitness success? Well, Wes is going to kind of talk about that in a little bit more detail. So building muscle mass and let's define mass here all right we're not talking arnold schwarzenegger or michael for that matter all right <laughs> we are talking firmer toner uh for people who've lost a lot of weight let's say even like bariatric patients you've lost 60 70 80 100 pounds 150 pounds you know the skin starts to sag we're talking about firming that skin uh filling that skin with firm tissue instead of you know the second wave the oprah wave um, changing those type of things. We're not talking about you know bodybuilding. So uh, building muscle mass boosts your resting metabolism. So next question: What what is metabolism? Well, metabolism metabolism is the energy you burn during the day doing just normal stuff. So we're not talking about exercising or anything like this. It's just the amount of calories or energy. Same thing: calories, calories, energy that you need to function uh, during the day. So more muscle, more calories burned, more weight loss. Things like, let's talk menopause, or for men, low testosterone. You know, hormones change, uh, the body kind of really, those carbs stick to you. It, you get that, that uh, kind of spare tire look, right, you know, right. can't get rid of the love handles, those type of things. And often I hear when people come to us, they say, I run, I get on the treadmill. I, you know, I spend hours doing these things, but what's the one thing they're not doing? Right. It's lifting weights. It's, it's building muscle. So um, really increasing muscle mass is nearly always the key. We've had clients here in their 60s and we've really focused uh, with them on building muscle mass and one lady in particular has gained 12 pounds of muscle and she looks completely truly, different completely different completely different but she looks thinner I mean yeah. people here are 12 pounds like oh my goodness well no she looks much thinner uh, her skin is tighter and then you know there's a whole other litany of things that happen yeah. when you become stronger especially Absolutely. as you age so building muscle mass gives us you know more room for error and even the ability to be a little more free with our nutrition. A right. good example of that is, uh, well, we have a clinic, um, or a lot of weight loss clinics. So put people on an 800 calorie diet, tell them to do a lot of cardio, they'll lose a lot of weight, but then when they go back to their normal diet, they, you know, just explode. Explode, explode. right. Yeah, whatever. Well, why is that? It's because their metabolism has not changed. Right. They've lost all that weight, but nothing has changed with their metabolism. They're right. still at, uh, you know, square one. So as you build that muscle, you increase that metabolism. Absolutely. Then it gives us that leniency. You know, you go on a two or three week vacation or go on that week long cruise where they have a <laughs> unlimited buffet. You won't gain that <laughs> best, 20 pounds. Best ever. <laughs> because it takes, because your body just needs more calories to do the normal everyday stuff. So let's talk about um, as we age a, a little bit here. So we see um, issues like uh, chronic illness, uh, risk of problems like falls, all those things. And those become less uh, as we build muscle mass. So, I mean, it's a no brainer. We get older, we lose muscle mass. Of course, uh, like I said, chronic illness issues our gait, the, the way we walk, you know, yes, we, absolutely. Uh, our function, our, function. Our, our total body function total just body diminishes. Function. And there's a lot of risk in that. Mm -hmm. You know, older people worried about if we fall at home. You think about our generation, at least we got outside, but the next generation play a lot of video games, those yep. type of things. Absolutely. They're not used to, they're not actually building that muscle mass as kids. Right. And then they're not used to all that flexibility and things like getting off the floor and getting back up. Absolutely. So we'll see this uh, problem truly continue 
and get worse as the next generations age. But several studies are showing that weightlifting, strength training, resistance training can counteract age-related issues. And really the only way to maintain that strength is an increase in muscle mass. Of course. And strength, that can muscle, be done through all of it, right. weight training. Absolutely. But you're going to hear something that's really crazy. What's that's that? beyond just the muscle mass and the way you want to look and all that. All the new research coming out is mm -hmm. saying that strength training is actually, um, well, it improves blood flow to the brain. Right. It blood is, flow nutrient delivery. Yep. Mm -hmm. It is increasing the production of like nerve protecting uh, compounds. So the wow. things that protect okay. your nerves, yep. Uh, your neurons. So brain's just made up of millions and millions of neurons. And as we age, those, those die off. And it's actually um, improving the development and the survival of those neurons. Wow. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Yep. And so all that means that they are beginning to think that actual weightlifting can help uh, keep you from dementia, Alzheimer's, and all those other, you know, brain issues that we worry about when we're older. Yeah. Well, one thing, too, that um, most people probably don't think about or probably don't realize, you know, we mentioned metabolism earlier, right? So... The only way studies are finding or studies are showing that the only way, the absolute only way to increase your metabolism is by gaining muscle. Uh, and without a metabolism, you cannot see long-term fitness success because um, you, you would have to spend you know hours doing cardio over and over and over, week to week to week, and that's not sustainable. That's not, that's not something you can do for 20, 30, 40 years. Um, you know, building up, building a lean muscle base. Uh, allowing your body to build that metabolism, obviously through good nutrition as well, um, fighting off the body fat and getting lean enough to where you feel comfortable with the way you look, you feel comfortable in your own skin, uh, but then you're also, your body's also just strong. It's, it's able to, to perform um, you know, day-to-day -day activities, functional activities as our body breaks down. Um, so yeah, no, that's, I, I didn't know about that about the brain yeah, stuff, so, so that's really cool. We're looking better and we're uh, you know, protecting ourselves in the future. Right, yeah, absolutely. Do so obviously like today's conclusion, right? right. Just kind of just finish it all up. Um, number one, obviously, want to thank you for being here. Uh, oh. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so um, thank you guys for joining us today on you know why cardio isn't enough. Uh, remember, cardio is 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 good. It is great for your body, but building a plan that has balance and sustainability, so that you can see long term fitness success, is what it's all about. Um, it, it keeps you from wanting to yep. do the stopping starting. And not being, especially for ladies, not being worried or scared to lift weights. If we lift Absolutely. weights, if we strength train, you're not going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. But Absolutely. you're protecting yourself for the future, yeah. you're increasing that metabolism, and you're going to get overall better results. Yes. And ultimately, you're building a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Right. You're building a healthy lifestyle that you need to have sustainable, long-term fitness success. So next week, we are going to be talking about uh, why most of us struggle to see results. Why is that? Um, we'll find out next week. So thanks for joining us today. Uh, episode four of UFIT TV, uh, Why Cardio Isn't Enough. Have a good day.